This is my FPV 250 I've been flying with. And for my next one, instead of using a black frame, I thought I'd try something a little different and I bought this red frame. They call this the uh, ghost version. And this is the red one, of course. I think these come in other colors like clear and blue. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's in it and see how it compares to the uh, original FPV 250 frame. So here's everything it came with. All the accessories and all the add-on things are all the same color of red, just a little bit on the clear side. I don't know how well you can see through this, but it's a little bit on the clear side, which <laughs> it looks really sharp. Uh, it comes with the uh, the landing gear here, and this is, of course, the same color red. Uh, it comes with these little uh, motor adapters, and these are if you have uh, motors that aren't fitting into the existing holes on the frame. You can mount them to this and then mount this to the frame itself. And it comes with the uh, screws that you need to uh, mount the two together. Probably these, or maybe it's these, but these look like they're the three millimeter, which will probably go into your motors. And uh, it also comes with this other set of screws, these little ooh, little four small screws, and those are to hold this onto the top of this, like that. And you also get a set of clear propellers, and these are uh, five by 30 propellers, and they say diatone on them. I think these come with a lot of the diatone uh, frames that you buy nowadays. So here I have the red frame just as assembled as much as I do my black frame. And I'm going to go ahead and weigh these and we'll see if there's any difference in the weights between the two of them. The red one it weighs in about 98.3 grams and the black one here weighs in about 107.5 grams. So it is a little bit heavier. Here are the little feet. I'll put them on the scale. They add another 7.2 grams to the frame. On this one here, I try to take it and I try to bend these arms a little bit and they get a little bit of flex in them. This up here feels pretty stiff and I'm just pushing right up here on the top of this uh, empty cage and it feels pretty stiff. This feels stiff and uh, when I try the red one, doing the same thing on the red one, it feels a little less stiff. These legs are falling off. <laughs> this frame up here feels a little bit more flexible up here on, under my thumb. And this leg flexes a little bit more than the uh, black one does. And uh, I'm not sure. It's probably just because, like I said before, it's probably made of a different material. One other ch difference between these two is the uh, are the legs here. The black one has the one line of, of uh, plastic running down the middle. This one has three. So maybe this one would be a little bit more rigid, maybe, with, with the extra two lines of plastic. But the plastic itself feels like it's a little bit thinner. So, I don't know. It might be better, it might be worse, my leg just fell off that one. Anyway, I'm looking forward to flying this one. I think it's going to be a little bit different looking having a red frame versus a standard black frame that everyone else has. Anyway, this has just been a little quick review of this. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.